Good afternoon and welcome to another Content Corner. My name is Andy from Global E-Commerce Experts and we're here to successfully expand you, the e-commerce sellers, into Europe. Now today what we're going to talk about in this today's Content Corner is food supplements and where they need to be registered because we get a lot of questions around this and if you're an Amazon seller specifically, some of these things are getting much, much hotter. The, the regulations around this, the um, tightening up of, of these loopholes, if you like, are becoming more and more strict. So if you sell a food supplement in cross Europe, and I'm gonna include UK in that, there are some places where you need to register those supplements in order to make that work. Now, obviously first, before you even do that, you're gonna to need to make sure your product's compliant. You're gonna to need to make sure your label's compliant. You're gonna to need to make sure you've got an address of a food business operator in the region. Obviously, all of those things we can help you with and we'd love to support you. But what I wanted to touch about today is about the regulations because I think it's really, really key that for a food supplement in the UK, you don't have to register them anywhere at the moment. But if you're on like the Pan EU programme, for example, you're probably gonna to have to register those in other countries. Now, depending on the regulation, and the product and the regulations it falls under will depend on where you need to register. But what I'm going to do is give you where standard food supplements need to be registered across Europe. So we're going to start with France. So France has got something called the DGCCRF, which is basically a portal, the French authority, where you need to register your, prop your products. And what you do with that is you go through the telecare system and you register for that and you basically upload it. Now, there's a whole load of things with all of the ones I'm going to go through, what you need to upload. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to touch on some of these. I'm not going to go into detail about all the different things you need to upload, because first of all, you should know what you need to do to make your product compliant. Um, and secondly, if you need some help, we can support you with that. And, and I've only got three or four minutes to do this, so I can't give you everything in that period. But what I'll do is just give you that overview. So France is the DGCCRF, and that's the regulatory body used for registering and authorizing food supplements, right? So that's France. Next one is Italy. Well, Italy and Spain are quite similar. So Italy is the Ministry of Health, all right? And what you need to do is you need to register that under a certain document, which is a 4075 hash P um, or, or stroke P. So what you do is you go to the Ministry of Health and you submit your all the information. And it's very similar in France, because with France, you have to go through the uh, I can't remember the actual uh, title of it. Let me just have a look at this. Uh, I, can't, I can't pronounce this, so I'm going to say it. Uh, A-E-C-O-S-A-N. And they're the ones that basically grant the approval for products. So you need to submit it. It's like the Ministry of um, Health for, for Italy. It's the Ministry of Food in Spain. So you can go through and you can require all those things. Germany is slightly different. So with Germany, you have to go through the Federal Office of Consumer Protection and food safety, uh, BVL, I think it's called. And I'm just looking at my notes to make sure I get that right. Yeah, BVL. Now, the German food supplements regulation means that you have to register with the Office of Consumer Protection and Food. And in order to do that, you need to go online and to do those things. Now, when you're selling these food supplements, in order for you to sell them on Amazon now, you're gonna have to show the certificate from all of these where they are. So when you're thinking about your supplements, you need to think about where you're selling them. The key thing is, is what supplement, where am I selling them, and then where do they need to be? Now, there's a whole load of things in there that you need to consider. The product's compliant. You've got a food business operator license in the EU. You've got an, a, a, an address based in region. Your products are translated as well. So all of those things are going to have an impact. Obviously, we've been doing this for many, many years now, and we can support you with that. If you need any help, get in contact. Failing that, if you think your product's already compliant, I've given you the information, where you need to go, where you need to head in order to make that happen. Hopefully that's super useful. Bit about food supplements today. My name's Andy from Global Commerce Experts. If that's been useful, please leave a comment, share it, or send us a message. We'd love to hear, uh, and we'll speak to you again on another content corner very soon. Thanks for your time.